Right, here we have um, the uh, Lego Technic Bulldozer. Um, I modified it slightly, so that's why it's not in the finished form. What we've got, I've modified the drive system to it. Technic only had um, one motor powering one corner, and the other major motor was powering the diagonally opposite corner. Um, what I've done is I've changed it, so um, the two major motors are powering everything. I'll show you, if you bear with me, just prove it working. Forwards, backwards, the, uh, the bucket at the front goes down and up. It doesn't go down all the way because it's modified, the whole thing is slightly taller at the top. Um, I'll need it up for this ex example here, and you've got the... Uh, the hoe at the back moves as well. That's pretty much standard. I think it actually works lower. So what I'll try and do now is show you exactly what I've done. Uh, let me just turn it over for you. Right, what we've got here is the um, the underside of the machine. Um, the two motors are side by side here whereas on the original uh, you get one in between here and one in between here. I've got drive going to all four corners through this shaft here and this shaft here. Um, I'm utilising something that I saw on YouTube itself from a guy that manufactured a tank and let me just get the instructions for that. It's this thing, a subcontractor. So I printed off the uh, the diagram with a screen dump and utilised it in here. So what you've got now, if I press forwards, oh, wrong thing. If I press forward, you can see the drive. Let me get this working. Now. That's forwards now, or reverse, whichever way. And you can see the drive is going through the middle of those discs in there. And both tracks move at the same speed in the same direction. Now if I use the other uh, if I use the other control, the tracks move in opposite directions. And as you can see, the discs are moving and the drives going to the corners. Now if I do both units at the same time. One track moves faster than the other, just allowing you to turn in an arc. If moving the other way, it's the reverse. They're, they're moving opposite directions, so that at the same speed, so it'll turn on it, its own axis. On the, on the. There, the right hand track, as we view it, is turning quicker than the left, so it'll go in an arc. And you can see they're all just changing around now. Left quicker than right. Right quicker than left. On its axis. So you've got all the gearings in there. For all the bits and pieces. You can see the diffs in there. Drive goes through the disc there. There's a disc turning there. Now, turn it back over. The engine still turns. Like that, you see, the engine's moving. Now, the only reason I don't think Lego put this in is because this is a very heavy bulldozer and I'm operating it as you can see on a flat box for that vehicle there but uh, basically I've already broken two of the cogs that go in the middle of the diffs that's what the clicking is this is the cogs jumping the teeth and I've already had one broken one um, because I was operating it on this carpet that's why and it's still clicking now on this cardboard box so maybe that's why Lego didn't um, build it like that in the first place just to keep it simple overall the bulldozer is a really good piece of kit 
but Lego isn't what it used to be, I don't think. These Lego bricks here, these ones with the knobbly bits on the top of the, f is what it should be built of, in my opinion, because these smooth pieces that you get here now, you can't just stick those together like you can the classic Lego. So, you know, this is what Lego's about, you know, sticking it together like that. All these are fancy bits and these pegs and whatnot just make it too fussy, for want of a word. Um, the best way is, yes, they got it looking like a bulldozer, but on the original bulldozer where it comes out of the box, they've just geared, done all the gearing as simple as can be. Where, in my opinion, half the fun is seeing how the actual thing works. Um, which is what I've tried to do here. Increase the gearing on it, made it more interesting to look at. And um, hopefully you'll agree that Lego should have done like that. But unfortunately, the universal... Not universal, sorry. The, uh, the diffs aren't strong enough and it's breaking the cogs in the middle. There you go, you can see them turning there again. Okay, so I hope that gives you some food for thought. I'm going to take it apart now and put it away.